One year ago, the class of 2020 couldn't have a normal graduation because ceremonies went virtual. Well, this year, graduations are back, but it comes at the end of an even more challenging school year. Denver 7 education reporter Nicole Brady joins us, and Nicole, the kids getting their diplomas have a lot to be proud of. They really do, Molly. I've talked to so many seniors this year who said they struggled academically, they missed the social part of school, but other students took this year as an opportunity, and especially for those who've been through adversity before, this year really proved their resilience. Here's one senior's story and his message for the class of 2021. In basketball and in life, you make some, you miss some. But Caden DeVault said he knew his senior year would be his last shot. I saw it as another opportunity from the Lord, like, here you go, I'm going to put this right in your hands. If you mess this one up, I don't know what to do with you. When Caden entered Gateway High School as a freshman, he had just suffered a life-changing loss. I lost my oldest brother on my father's side. Uh, he got murdered. His name was Alonzo Jordan DeVault. Alonzo Jordan DeVault was 18 when he was stabbed to death in Aurora. He was Caden's closest sibling and friend, and the tragedy changed him. I just wasn't motivated. Like, I, I quit basketball, and I loved basketball. I didn't know what to do. I was just I was just in a space where I was hurt. With his falling grades, Caden wasn't eligible for sports his sophomore or junior years. He almost dropped out. Because my brother, he had dropped out of high school. And I was like, well, if he can do it, I could do it. I don't need it. Like, I'm not going to graduate anyways. But late in Caden's junior year, just before the pandemic hit, things changed. Ron Fay was in his first year as Gateway's principal, and he took an interest in Caden. I'm interested in stories, right, uh, first and foremost, yeah. because when we get to share our stories, um, we share a part of ourselves that uh, makes, it, makes an impact with people. I like how you start because it comes like straight from you. Caden developed relationships with teachers like Jordana Riley. I, know, I think people saw him as like this problem child before, right? And I think this year people started treating him differently and he started to see himself differently and he became more confident. Riley saw his passion for sports and helped him use that in school. I had something to really focus on to keep my grades in check. Then that, that's exactly right. His senior year, Caden decided to be a two-sport athlete and joined Gateway's football team. Caden, awesome guy, man. He's he struggled, you know, in, in his first couple years, and you know, just through you know his own determination and things like that, he's just found a way to get it done. He was on the field this month when Gateway went to the state championship for the first time in the school's history. <laughs> A shining moment in the pandemic year, but Caden looks back on this year and sees only silver linings. Without COVID, I probably wouldn't have graduated. I was missing so many credits, and now like that I just was locked down at the house, I had no other choice but to do my work and get back on track. He didn't fail a single class and earned his first A. But now school's like the top priority, like right after we get done with this, I'm about to go work on that essay. And he really was trying to hurry up with this interview to go work on that essay. He's visiting colleges now, no surprise to the staff at Gateway. I know no matter what he does, he'll be successful if he keeps this, this mindset up, and I believe he will. And now, as Gaden prepares to say goodbye to high school and receive his diploma, it's a big deal to do it in person. It's a huge deal because he's my baby. Like, it's the last one, you know, the last time I get to do it. In front of his mom. Man, I love my mom, but that's my rock. And with the rest of the class of 2021. I say we made it. Don't let nothing stop you from uh, your goals in life. Keep pushing, keep striving. And class of 2021, we the best. 2021, you, you guys are the best. You've been through something none of us ever have. Uh, Denver 7 and our partners at Metropolitan State University of Denver want to say congrats to all the grads and to show how much we care. Uh, you can go to the denverchannel.com slash grads to submit a picture of the graduate in your life and tell us what makes them special. We'll pick a few to spotlight on Fridays at 6 a.m. and 5 p.m., but you can always go to the website and see them all.